So today we're just going to fillet some mackerel. What we're going to do is we're going to take the mackerel in fillets, remove the bones, remove the pin bones, and also take the membrane off the mackerel so that we can give a nice uh, bright finish to the mackerel. So what we'll do is we'll start from now. Nice mackerel. Right. Follow it down the dorsal fin. Now I like not to take the fillets off because it becomes really difficult to, to fillet a fish once you've removed the fillets. So if we just go down the dorsal fin and then keep the fillet on flip the fish over so that we can work with it better and then repeat the process nice and gentle towards the tail slide that off and now we can take the fillet off so we just slide all the way through the bones just in behind the fin so that we don't catch the fin bones and we just remove it off nice and clean. Very little left on the fish. And you repeat the process on the other side. So a long through behind the fin again. And then we can just remove. And as you can see, it's virtually no waste at all. Right, so we repeat the process. Along the dorsal fin, along the line of the bone, in through towards the tail. Keep the fillet on. Now I like to turn the fish, I find it easier to work with and just in along the dorsal and the bone. Make sure your knife is in contact with it, that way you won't have any waste. And just poke all the way through, run along the bones and just pop off at the tail. Then we can just take it through the bones, through the bones, behind the fin and just remove the fillet. Behind the bone, the bones on the uh, fin, and remove it. Once again, virtually no waste. Now, to remove the bones, the, the rib cage bones, all I do is I slide my knife in just under the surface, under those bones, and then just bring it forward. Those bones will just pull off nicely. Now along the lateral we have a line of pin bones here. You can pick them out individually but I always find that it's easier for the purposes that I want to use it just to cut a V either side gently through to the skin and then you just pull out all of the bones, limited wastage and more importantly absolutely no damage to the rest of the fish. And I'll just trim off that little bit of belly to give me a nice fillet. As you can see, nice. The next process is to remove the membrane. So for this, I'll just pin the tail down with my finger and then cut in along the board as close as I can without going through the fillet and then just a gentle wiggle you'll see there's a clear film there, you can see my finger through it and once you have that then what you can do is just with your thumb push down against it and just work work that membrane off
sometimes it's best just to work it from the centre outwards so that it doesn't pull the coloration off the actual fillet. So we just gen gently push it so as not to damage too much of the coloration. The fresher the mackerel, the less likely to see the uh, damage of that. Now you'll be left with a film, it's almost like a sausage skin. That's what forces your fish to curl when you cook it. So by doing this we remove it. And what you end up with is a very brightly coloured. The petrol colours of the mackerel will come out once that's actually cooked or finished. That's one finished. So we'll just repeat the process, just trim off that belly bit, feel where the bones are, in underneath the bones, and gently just slide slightly upwards and push those bones out. Turn the fillet around, and then a V either side of those lateral bones. gentle slice down it so that you just get it through the flesh and don't cut through that skin. Nice clean fillet. Once again, to get the membrane, we just slice gently with the skin side down and the blade nicely flexed and just gently rub it down through until we get the membrane. There are two ways of doing this. You can either do it the way that I previously showed, or you can continue with the knife. Doing it with the knife, you do risk just getting a little nick on the membrane and cutting the membrane. So it has to be a gentle, slow process to do it this way. But if you get it right, you're less likely to damage any of the coloration. So, just gently pushing it, rocking it through. When you get to the end, be extremely gentle because it will want to just snap off at that point. So here we go, there's that membrane and a very nicely finished piece of mackerel.